Hi everyone, Aksanta here again. Today we are going to be drawing a succulent pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you how I create a repeat pattern, seamless design in Adobe Illustrator using my own technique that I developed a few years ago and it's been working for me wonderfully through all my projects so I'm going to show you how I create the pattern, how I make the sketches first, then I create the pattern, and then how I create a simple mock-ups to test how the pattern is going to look on the various products. So, let's start! We are going to do the research and look for the inspiration for our design. I'm using Pinterest, I love Pinterest, and I'm writing succulent pots into Pinterest to see uh, what it shows me. And I see all of these beautiful, beautiful pots right here, lots of inspiration. And so now I'm ready to do the sketches. I um, start a new file, I create a new file based on my template. Uh, which already consists of a symbol instances of a pattern and I'm starting to draw just a freestyle freehand drawing some rough sketches in blue uh, of my succulent shapes I don't really use any reference images or photos for this particular design I just kind of look at the all of the inspiration on Pinterest to get inspired because in, for this particular design, I want to have some uh, a bit of a cartoony shape, a bit of a kind of like a cartoony shapes to the to my succulents right here. So I already done a few beforehand to test it out, and I added them right here. And now I'm doing the spiky one. It's kind of look. I, but as I was looking them over all of these shapes, I was thinking they would make some funny hairstyles. So, um, yeah, I'm doing the little pots and kind of like playing with the shapes and the sizes of them and to see what fits together. and uh, the little pot for it and my sketches are done so it's time to do the line art elements all right so I'm using the blob brush here and I'm doing the outside outline of this first succulent plant and with a little bit thinner uh, blob brush I'm doing the inner detailing on the plant and I don't clean up that much yet so at this uh, right now I'm going to clean up a little bit and make it a little bit more nice and smooth uh, so I'm going to use the shapes tool to do the basic pots and this one has been a little bit tricky so it's been doing these little blobs on the lines if I do the blob brush so I switched over to the brush tool and uh, used one of the preset uh, illustrator preset standard brushes for that one kind of do the rough one and then adjust and use the eraser to fix if I have done some unnecessary strokes right there so we have some basic shapes here to fix that one a little bit more um, I love that I can fix up <laughs> some lines in Adobe Illustrator Save, saves a lot of headache so I'm really enjoying that. Some basic pot right here. And uh, I will continue in this manner on the rest of my cute little succulents.
cut is finished and here I uh, edit uh, the line art for the rest of them and my uh, line art basic shapes are finished I just expanded them and I'm ready to do the coloring uh, on my elements I deleted the parts first and the expanded line art shapes I uh, first color the background uh, rough background shapes of my uh, little succulents and I'm going just one by one coloring them up I chose the blue green uh, palette for my succulents kind of inspired by the uh, colors of the actual succulent plants and I'm doing the, uh, the rough coloring of the basic shapes behind each line art uh, now I'm going to do some uh, simple details and highlights and shadows on my uh, uh, artwork and uh, for this I just uh, copy some parts of the elements from the expanded line art and color them and paste them back behind the black lines here I did some circles some more highlights right here and I'm going to continue in the same manner for the rest of my uh, succulents and now it's time to do some cute little pots the coloring is done so we'll, let's do some fun patterns on the pots I'm just doing some uh, kind of fun simple polka dots and wavy lines and uh, some kind of tribal inspired triangle pattern on this one and some uh, more stripy and circly designs and semicircles right here for stripes so a little bit of a tribal inspired and inspired by the textures in succulents uh, patterns on my little pots right here succulent elements are all finished and uh, I'm so excited to share this little video with you and this is the end of part one and in this part I showed you how I did the research the sketches and the coloring of my elements for my uh, upcoming pattern collection and please stay tuned for part two and three in which I will show you how I create the main pattern and the matching patterns and borders for this collection. Um, thank you so much for watching thank, and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. Grow, love and create. Bye!